I've experienced more natural disasters in my lifetime than both of my parents have in their whole life. But we got so drowned in trying to reduce the emissions that we forgot that there are others who are really seeing the impacts already and we need to provide a mechanism to protect them. Only a little percentage of funding goes to adaptation. That means people like me grew up being afraid of drowning in our own bedroom. We saw people stranded on a rooftop. We saw people being washed away by floods and storm surges. Entire communities and cities consumed com entirely by the water. My community flooded in 2015, the first time it had ever happened since my grandmother has memory. It got to a point where we have to see the effects of the climate crisis to be able to have an impact on negotiations. I feel what is happening right now is wrong. I wouldn't want to be an activist. I wouldn't want to come here. I wanted to be an artist and just continue my student life. But I feel I don't have, once I know about the problem, I can just step back. I'm gladly not a politician because it seems like policy and politics, the, the change moves slow. I think today's leaders, they are far away from reality. It's all about money and not about the actual things that needs to be done to save the humankind. Y ese desarrollo cognitivo que tenemos, utilizamos para la muerte, para las masacres, para asesinar a otras especies, para asesinarnos entre nosotros mismos. Creo que las otras especies son mucho más inteligentes que nosotros y se sienten más orgullosas de ellas mismas. Cuando ellos matan la floresta, ellos están matando a gente. Y ellos están literalmente nos matando. Sometimes it feels like I've been tasked with a candle and I'm being asked to carry it in a tunnel of darkness. And I don't know what, where I'm going. I just know that there's people next to me, right and left, also carrying that candle. But I can't pass it on behind me either because people are looking to us to lead them. But I don't, I don't know where we're going. That's what the future feels like. I think the more that we are in that political stage, coming from a strong climate activist background, this is where we can bring in the climate justice and the urgent action at heart and really drive our countries and drive global leaders to do the same. Why do we have all the solutions in the classroom, but you're not doing anything, but it seems you have a lot of solutions, uh, which is very typical of a lot of professors, actually. Um, and what he told me was that it is his job to show us the path and to show us the way and to let us know the issues and the potential solutions, but it is the responsibility of the students to take that knowledge and do something with it. And that was the turning point for me. So we just realized that the youth movement in general just get below 1% of funds from the biggest donors and foundations across the globe. And even below 1%, the most of this fund go to uh, US-based youth-led organizations, so we have a long way to go. Uh, hope is us. Uh, hope is about us playing our role as much as we can. Uh, it's a fight. Some of us are afraid to have children. Some of us are afraid they won't even make it to the age where they can because of the climate crisis. And so if I do have children, and to my unborn children, I will fight for you, and I'll fight for your world so that we leave it better and that you're proud of the world you inherit. I really tried my best. I did whatever I could. I, I worked super hard so that they have a life and they have a better, and they at least have a world to live in. And if I'm able to do something to stop this crisis, I would think it's, I would be really successful. Some of the things were beyond me, but the most important thing is to make sure that I had played my part when I had the chance to. If the natural world around us is destroyed, if there is more suffering at the end of conferences like this than dignified, qualified life, I don't have anything to give my grandchildren except an apology. The problem is in the construction of consensus. Who has the right to what, for what, with what fin, who is prejudicated, who is beneficia? Donde empieza la libertad del otro, las especies pueden catalogarse como otro o solo intentamos consensuar entre humanos. We need structural um, justice and structural change 
while also making sure that we have individual change and collaboration. Right wing, left wing, center. But that's so important to have some, some framework where you can work here within. A framework that protects life of human beings and of their nature. And a framework who is ethical and who always relies on the truth. I don't, I don't... Eu não gosto de pensar muito negativamente, sabe? É porque eu não, não, não posso, eu sou uma líder, eu tenho que manter a minha esperança. Como eu falei, a minha força está aqui. E eu tenho que sempre buscar o melhor para a minha comunidade. Imagine if every single company and every single presidency in the world had youth advising them. And it's not only because of the things that we bring, but also the things that we represent. Ahora que lo ambiental está en agenda, el siguiente paso es meterlo de lleno en la economía. We will fight to make sure that the next generation has a climate just world. And if that doesn't happen, the next generation will fight. We will keep fighting as a human species to fight for a better world to ensure that we no longer have the profit-oriented system that we have today.